Uh, we've covered so much ground today. Uh, we'll keep going with our open line at 504 556 9696. Now joining us here uh, to uh, add his voice to the conversation, our ringside all star who checks in with us on Tuesdays, publisher of BayouBuzz.com, uh, Steve Sabaldowski checking in. And uh, we're also visiting via Google Hangout at BayouBuzz.com. Steve, what's happening? Hi, Jeff. Um, and can you hear me? Yes. Uh, okay, good. Yes. I uh, can see you, can hear you. Yeah. And uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, Steve, we've had so many topics this morning, uh, everything from uh, the Pope to uh, Hillary's emails to the climate change to the Mount McKinley to Trump, gender languishing at 1%, uh, all the crime news, the uh, shootouts, the robberies, and the uh, burglaries. Uh, the monuments, uh, the, uh, of course, uh, presidential race, the Black Lives Matter, a lot of uh, talk about the uh, protesters yelling uh, pigs in a blanket, uh, fry them like bacon. And, uh, of course, uh, some um, other comments as well on various topics. So, got a lot of people that want to chime in. Anything you want to address before we uh, kick off some calls, Steve? No, go ahead, please. All right, uh, let's see who we have first in line, and uh, let's go to uh, our friend uh, Nathan from Slidell. Hey, Nathan, how are you, sir? Good morning. Hey, good morning, Jeff. Uh, you know, I wanted to address uh, a couple calls ago. He was talking about the 29 Palms survey that come out of the 29 Palms Naval Base in 1994 that was put out by Lieutenant Commander Guy Cunningham. And if you go to the survey, which I have a copy of, you go down to number 46, it says the U.S. government declares a ban for the possession, sale, transportation, transfer of all non-sporting firearms. A 30-day amnesty period is permitted to those firearms. It is to be turned over to the local authorities. At the end of this point, a number of citizen groups refuse to turn over their firearms. Consider the following statement. I would, upon, uh, I would fire upon U.S. citizens who refuse or resist confiscation of the firearms ban of the U.S. government. Strongly disagree, disagree, agree, strongly agree, no opinion. Over 50% of the soldiers that took this survey said they would do it. They, they agreed. Okay, because I had uh, received word that uh, it was like 85% who said that they would not. Uh, so you're saying right. uh, in, in that survey you had fi over 50% saying that they would. Yeah, on, on this particular survey, uh, this come out in 19, uh, 1994. But this, yeah, this was a long time ago. Okay. R right. Mm -hmm. and, and I want to address one other thing real quick. You know, y'all was talking about, uh, you know, Colonel Jessup wanted to bring up uh, bin Laden. Well, yeah. There's, a, there's some evidence that that didn't happen either. CIA whistleblower Dr. Steve Pachinik, who uh, helped co-write a lot of Tom Clancy's books, he laid out, lays out evidence in books uh, and documentation that he was actually killed in 2004 uh, at a Dubai hospital uh, due to kidney failure. Mm -hmm. And that they was just waiting for a certain crisis so they could roll the body out and use it at a certain point. And then Ted Koppel actually covered that briefly mm -hmm. the same year. There was, it was a blip on the news. And you can still find it. That's wow. saying that bin Laden died. Well, and, and let me bring Steve up to speed, and uh, thank you, my friend. Uh, we had a caller earlier uh, who said that uh, Hillary's leadership uh, at the uh, raid of um, uh, the killed uh, Osama bin Laden, one of the uh, great credentials that she has uh, for uh, becoming president. Nathan bringing up questions about it. Uh, earlier, I had uh, a lady, uh, Kay, email me and saying there's evidence that the pictures that were released uh, were photoshopped and uh, showing Hillary there huddling with Obama, watching what supposedly was video of the raid, uh, that it was later determined there was no uh, real-time video of the raid. So, I mean, uh, who knows what the true story is? All I know is this about Hillary, Steve. Uh, she's got some problems. And uh, looks like uh, 150 new uh, classified emails released yesterday. Now we've got uh, more questions about her viability as a, a candidate. More people are, are telling me they think Biden is going to jump in. Poll numbers show uh, Sanders closing in uh, in Iowa. What do you make of it? Well, in terms of this conspiracy theory or, or whatever it is, I mean, I think people are going to believe what they, they want to believe. And uh, on, I don't care, you know, whatever it might be, you know, if there's a will, there's a way. And if there, there's a something they want to uh, 
uh, address. And if, if something sounds good or strange or whatever, they're just going to accept it. So I, I, I don't buy that. I mean, I really don't. I think that, you know, uh, you're assuming in terms of uh, um, you're assuming that the uh, SEALs, Navy SEALs were or uh, whoever it was who went in there and that they're not there. They shot up somebody and then they they pretended that it was Bin Laden. Is that it? I'm not uh, I, that. I mean, you just heard the caller uh, said that that was some uh, research that he had uncovered uh, that someone. Had I, 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 no, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying that you. I'm saying that's. No, 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 no. I, I was using you generally. I'm not not you specifically, Jeff. I apologize. Uh, so I. I I think that those kind of uh, theories that are, I mean, pretty much, I think, at least way out there, uh, I think they actually help uh, the the uh, the target, like in this case, Hillary. And I think there's enough out there, uh, you know, ag against Hillary, you know, and just use the stuff that's more credible. I mean, if, if that's, I mean, that's, that's my belief. Uh, yeah, uh, I think that. You don't think the email scandal's hurting her? Oh, I, we, we have talked about this before. Of course, it's hurting her. And that's what I'm saying. I think there's more out there. I don't know if the 150 that were released, if they were, if that uh, is uh, uh, illegal. I think that there's a question as to whether or not, uh, in terms of uh, illegality, there's a question as to whether or not it was, uh, say, um, uh, uh, secret at the time. Uh, uh, sensitive at the time of uh, sending and and, right. uh, uh, and received, but there's still the overall question of whether or not that was a wise thing for her to do. Of course, yeah, no. <laughs> I'd say and, no. And, and and the fact that, as I understand it from what I read, uh, the server was in not her. Uh, bathroom, but the bathroom of the hosting company. The hosting company, right. Yeah, because I've, I've heard people say, oh, it's in her bathroom. And initially, I thought it was too. But as I understand, it was in the Colorado, bathroom. Colorado, I think. I think it was some Colorado company. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, in a condo. And and and, and I got to tell you, I mean, you know, because I, I do this a lot. Uh, and uh, that's, that's very strange. Yeah. Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't uh, uh, Secretary Rice and uh, Colin Powell, didn't they also have their own private server? Uh, and what's the difference between what they did and, and what she did? Uh, I don't know. But regardless, uh, I, I think having a server, I mean, to me, that's the biggest issue. You know, uh, having a server in a place that is not really protected. Sure. You know, that is, to me, it's not criminal. It's just absolutely insane, stupid. Well, let's see what happens. 504-556-9696. Uh, uh, the reality, though, is her poll numbers are going down. Sure. At least, uh, yeah. According to uh, the latest results. Let's go back to the phone lines. Uh, Kev checking in from Metairie. Hey, Kev, how are you? Good morning, sir. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Steve. Hey. Listen, I wanted to respond directly to both Daniel and Adam. If I could get just a minute, I'll talk fast because I know you don't have much time. Uh, Daniel, Matthew 24, 18 says lightning as it flashes from the east unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. It doesn't say as lightning flashes from the sky and blasts a crater in the ground. It says from east to west. That is perfect harmony with First Thessalonians chapter 4, 16 through 18, where Christ descends and then we go up to meet him in the air. Uh, Adam, uh, Revelation 1, 6 and First Peter 2, 9 says that Christians are kings and priests. So does that grant me as a priest the authority to forgive and absolve your sins and grant indulgences? No. The problem is we don't read all of Scripture. We just pick verses. And the verse that Adam is using to say that the Catholic Church, mm -hmm. or Jesus has granted the Catholic Church authority, is the verse where it says, I'll give you authority to bind. Whatsoever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever is loosed on earth shall be loosed in heaven. This has got nothing to do with uh, salvation. This has to do with church authority and church business. I mean, if we compare scriptures, we find that judgment the judgment seat okay. of Christ is the seat that judges. The uh, 1 Timothy 2, five says that there's mm -hmm. only one mediator between God and man. Okay. We've got to read all the scriptures together to uh, arrive at a correct conclusion. The, you know, uh, Catholics say that, well, you know, Jesus said that the church was mm -hmm. built on Peter, the rock, right? Yeah. On, on Peter, uh, the rock, I will build my church. That is a distortion of scripture. Okay. It says... 
that well, God Kevin, we could spend on his profession. All right. We could probably spend hours uh, delving into all the differences theologically, but uh, I think you made your point. I appreciate it. We had other uh, points of view uh, shared on that. So let's uh, let's do this. Uh, let's, uh, if we could, uh, squeeze in another call before the end of the hour and try to get in uh, one more, if we could, Steve, uh, next joining us. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's Randy checking in from Lakeview. Hey, Randy, how are you? Good morning. Randy, you with us? Hey, there you yeah. are. How you doing, Randy? Hey, I'm good, thanks. The liberals continually talk about taking away our guns. They never want to talk about how to really solve the problems. We know where the crime's coming from. We know people are not raising their children, the kids that they're running renegades. The only way we're going to solve this crime problem in this America is to catch these kids when they're young, get them in Boys Town or Son of Saints or any any structure, get them now. The thugs that are on the street, streets, it's it's almost too late for them. They're criminals. They're animals. Anyone that would steal a woman's purse it is the lowest form of scum. And the uh, regular news will not report how scummy and disgusting these animals are for stealing a woman's purse. I can see empty in a cash register, but how low can someone go? No one talks about that. We need structure in these young kids' lives. And um, that's all I have to and say. And they're not today. getting it. They're, they're, they're not getting no. it. And uh, okay. thus, uh, they're roaming on the streets at all hours committing crimes. Yeah. Let's talk about the real issues. Let's get the czars, all these goofy czars. I mean, we send men to the moon. We know where the crime's coming from. The yeah. college kids are being terrorized. I don't know if it's, it's Zorro, your liberal caller. He always brags about all this baloney liberalism in Clinton. Well, if he's so smart, let him go walk around the campuses at night mm -hmm. and help protect these young college kids. Well, you, you, you make a great point. Uh, they, they're really uh, being, uh, I think, targeted. And we talked uh, earlier about, uh, Steve, a Loyola student being robbed. Uh, we know a lot of Tulane students have been recently robbed. Uh, we'll uh, delve into that and a whole lot more when we come back. Hang on. Steve Sabodowski with us at publisherbuzz.com. We're doing a Google Hangout uh, also here on the Airways, 990 AM. And we're taking your calls at 504-556-9696 uh, from crime to politics, uh, from uh, religion to uh, what's going on, uh, from uh, D.C. to New Orleans. Want to hear from you. We'll be right back. Catch the Three Tailgaters Show with Ken Trahan, Ed Daniels, and Rick Gailey Saturday mornings from 10 to noon on WGSO 990 AM, New Orleans. USA Headline News. I'm Ron Taylor. Former Vice President Dick Cheney says he's all for current Vice President Joe Biden making a run at the White House. I like Joe. He's a good man. He's a Democrat. We don't agree on very much, but I think he would add a lot to the race. Cheney tells Fox News that the Democrats could use some more candidates. Biden says he'll decide by the end of September whether to campaign for the Democratic nomination. A Georgia police officer is in critical condition after being shot when he responded to a call about a suspicious person and apparently showed up at the wrong address. The homeowner was also shot last night in DeKalb County and is hospitalized. The Georgia Bureau of Investigations is examining the case to determine exactly what happened. Another off-duty law enforcement officer may have been murdered in Texas. Abilene police are investigating the suspicious death of an officer found at his home Monday. Police are not giving the officer's name, rank, or any details of his death. The cameraman who was gunned down during a live TV broadcast in Virginia last week will be buried today family of Adam Ward will hold a ceremony at the First Baptist Church of Roanoke, followed by a private committal service. This is USA Headline News. Wish summer would last forever? Ask Sherwin-Williams and save 30% on paints and stains during the endless summer sale, August 27th through September 7th. With colors like Picnic, August Moon, and Pressed Flower, you'll be surrounded by summer long after the leaves have changed. Visit your neighborhood Sherwin-Williams paint store and save 30% today. Find your nearest store at SherwinWilliams.com slash sale. Retail sales only. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. 
Imagine turning on a shower and getting an endless supply of hot water almost immediately. As soon as this heats up, whoa, hello. With the smart recirculation technology of the new Renai Ultra Series tankless water heaters, Renai brings you faster hot water in showers, sinks, and other home appliances. <laughs> that was fast. That was fast. Renai tankless water heaters give you an endless supply of hot water faster, plus big savings on water and gas, which leaves only one question. Why wait any longer? To learn more, visit us at Renai.us. That's R-I-N-N-A-I.us. Authorities are working to make sense of a mid-air altercation that forced a plane to divert to a Texas airport where a half dozen people were detained. Police in Amarillo got a call to respond to Rick Husband Amarillo International Airport a little before 10.30 Central Time last night. Hours later, six passengers... Hey, man, Steve. Yeah, hey. Hey, um, I'm going to have a column for you today. I've been working on it, so I'll try to get it to you early. Okay, one one question. Let me ask you a question. Uh, I'm going to take this uh, headset off, and, and I want to know if you can hear me, okay? Okay. Okay, um, and because I I can put this on Twitter too, um, just bear with me. Okay. The balance is very very important. The bill's co-author Senator Patricia Bates also says it'll grant. You're live right now, huh? We're live. Yeah. Cleanup is underway this morning in the Phoenix, Arizona area after a massive thunderstorm struck last night, leaving roads flooded. Can you hear? Yeah, the video. Yeah, the video came back and sort of stalled for a while. I can hear you. Okay, can they hear me? If you owe over ten thousand dollars, the audience will be able to hear him, right? Yeah. Okay, so uh, I want to try putting this on Twitter. Okay, so uh, um, there's a new technology that I'm working with, and uh, uh, you know, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the video. I'm going to use my camera and shoot my screen okay and uh put that on twitter live and okay I, so and you can uh tweet it out too all right unfortunately we only have one more segment i've got uh state treasurer john kennedy coming on and uh tom I've got shedler and kennedy coming on but um anyway i wanted to tell you that i'll, I'll try to get to the column early okay okay what time is uh, uh kennedy coming on so uh i might be able to capture that yeah, 10.30. Kennedy's coming on at okay. 10.30. Shedler's okay. coming on at 10.15, 10.20, whenever we finish. Okay, I'll, I'll try to capture it. Thanks. Okay. Call 488-6582. Check out our menu online at katiesinmidcity.com. Minimal chance of a thunderstorm or shower. Some clouds might share the sunshine at times today. Otherwise, it's partly cloudy skies. Got a chance it's 20% for an isolated thunderstorm or shower today and about lower 90s. That heat index will be once again approaching 100. The hour coming your way. Uh, we've got uh, another segment with Steve Sabadowski of ValueBuzz.com. Then we've got uh, Louisiana Secretary of State Tom Shedler joining us. And then Louisiana State Treasurer John Kennedy. 
So uh, jam-packed here uh, in this hour. Your phone calls uh, accepted, uh, encouraged, appreciated at 504-556-9696. Right now, back to our special guest, uh, Steve Sabaldowski. And uh, Steve, uh, David Vitter's now started uh, airing commercials. And uh, the theme of, uh, I think, uh, his commercial is, uh, hey, Mitch, uh, your focus is not on the right place. Uh, it's that message you recently gave. Uh, it's uh, murders, not monuments. Uh, it's airing on uh, this station, other stations uh, starting today. Uh, how do you think that's going to play? Uh, well, I, I think it's going to play pretty well uh, for uh, for the people who are go- who you know, believe that's a big issue. Um, I don't think it's a really big issue. I think it's... Uh, but I, I think it, you know, it'll, 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 play, it'll play well. You don't think uh, the murder rate's a big issue? Oh, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm saying, you know, trying to compare or trying to say that the the key, you know, the very key is, uh, you know, is uh, uh, is stopping statues and all. I, I don't think that's an issue. Uh, you don't think uh, Landrew's uh, diversionary tactic uh, is an issue? I mean, I, I disagree. I think a lot of people are, are talking about it. I think it is sort of a, a hot button issue. Well, that's that's a, assuming it's a diversionary tactic. I mean, um, I, I you know I, I don't see it as a diver- I, I think that you know it's something that he believes in or something that he's been influenced about. And like I said, I think that the amount of time he spent on uh, Katrina anniversary certainly is going to uh, uh, pass up the amount of time that he's spending on statues. I, I, to me, it's a non-issue. Crime well, is an issue. Wait, wait let, let me just say. Crime is a non-issue. I'm What's sorry. That? You're saying crime is a non-issue? No, I didn't say that. I said I said the statues are a non-issue. I think crime is an issue. Okay, and, well, and I think. I, I mean, I disagree. With you. I moderated a, a forum last uh, week. Uh, we had several hundred people there. And uh, I think a lot of people are tired of all the Katrina uh, over and over with Katrina over and over with the anniversary. My goodness. I mean, enough already. I mean, uh, I think uh, a lot of people I talked to were glad, uh, the, the, you know, the, all the week of, uh, you know, having all these uh, dignitaries here and talking about it uh, are over. My goodness. Uh, yeah. Now we're back to the uh, robberies and the rapes and the murders and the carjackings and the crime. And, you know, maybe he will uh, finally start doing his job. Well, uh, okay, what I was saying is the amount of time that he and others were spending on Katrina would certainly dwarf the amount of time that, you know, we are, uh, that he and his administration were spending on monuments, statues. He's already stuff. had several all-day meetings. I mean, there's already been a lot of time uh, spent on it, uh, and, it I, and it's not over. I mean, uh, there's still going to be a lot more if he's going to try to get these things down and uh it's uh we've only seen i I think the beginning but let's get some calls in 504-556-9696 uh our friend paul in lakeview joining in hey paul how are you good morning how you doing all right Um, sir i just want to say this wasn't the city council a couple of thursdays ago supposed to vote on whether to remove these monuments I, i don't think they did did they well, I mean, I, I think they uh, voted to move forward with the process, and then I think it went before the uh, Historic Landmarks Commission and the Human yeah. Rights Commission. So uh, I, I guess it'll be going back to the uh, city council at some point. Yeah, well, you know, Mitch, it, it, he's in another world, okay? he's Apparently, he's not living in this city. According to uh, Stephanie Grace this morning, the big problem is climate change which Obama is right on. I mean, come on, where, where the hell has she been? She never talks about the crime in the city. She talks about these uh, weirdo, these way out things. And, the, and this is what's happening. You, did Obama mention a, a fact? Was it a shame that that police officer at the, at the gas pump was shot? I, I, I mean, I, I think he condemned it. Uh, I, yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. and, and then someone said he had, he had called the uh, officer's yeah. uh, wife, yeah. from what I understand. Yeah. Yeah, well, from what I understand, if if we don't put a cap on this right now, and if we see this, if all white police officers are targeted, or police officers in general, man, we could have rioting in the streets in, 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 in a short period of time. I don't want to see that. 
But maybe that's what Obama's wishing for, so he can just stay in power. I mean, you know. Well, I mean, uh, who knows uh, what he's really wishing for. Uh, I, I hope he's uh, working on his library. I mean, I hope he's working on his post-presidential plans. I mean, I, I heard they're, they're trying to get an architect for the library and, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. let's, have, let's have him focus on that. But I, I think it's going to be a, a very busy last few months of his administration. I don't think he's going to go away quietly, uh, Paul. No, I don't think he is either. Yeah. Uh, uh, but but for, uh, fortunately, it takes a lot of votes mm. to put a member to the Constitution to change things. And, you know, it takes three-fourths of the states it right. takes two thirds of each house of Congress, and that that thank God for that because this president would try to do any damn thing to stay in. Well, I mean, uh, eight eight years. Uh, I think uh, most people will say that's enough of him, but uh, hopefully, uh, five zero four five five six nine six nine six. What do you make of the climate change uh, issue? Uh, he brought it up in his speech to New Orleans, uh, Steve. Uh, he's doing a, a climate change tour right now. Uh, the Pope met with the mayor about it. There seems to be a lot of convergence uh, among those on the left about the uh, climate change uh, issue. Many on the right, such as myself, believe it is uh, a, a hoax, a, uh, again, crazy enterprise to uh, control uh, Americans' taxes uh, and uh, create more bureaucracies. Uh, I get call, I get emails constantly about the uh, fallacy of this uh, whole uh, climate change uh, agenda, but uh, it does seem to be one that has uh, been embraced by the mayor and uh, the president and the Pope. Uh, first, let me, if you don't mind, let me just address, uh, this is about the third or fourth call that I've heard uh, saying that Obama is uh, going to stay in power after his, uh, or that he, he's going to try to stay in power after his term is over. Uh, emergency uh, powers, you know. Martial law, right. Mar you know, martial law and all that. I mean, I, 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 you I don't know how to address that other than yeah. shake my head and just say, I, I, I just disagree. I mean, yeah. I don't think any, any, I don't think anybody would allow any president to do that uh, under any circumstance. And uh, we've had wars before and presidents in power during wars. And I just, I, there's no- Well, now that, we have, now that we have the 22nd Amendment, thankfully, I mean, uh, that won't be a, I mean, we, we've had a president serve more than two terms, FDR. You know that, but, obviously. Yeah, yes, but what I'm, what I'm saying is that uh, it's not a, martial law type of a situation so right. I, I'm, I'm just i'm just you know uh sorry that some of you callers believe that and mm -hmm. I, I don't as far as the climate change um you know I, I think that many people in the world believe that uh i'm you know somewhat uncertain about it uh i, I am you know uh trying to figure out why uh there is this the issue in alaska um I, uh, you know, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't think it's a hoax. Okay. I don't think that, I, I think people, you know, believe it. And I think they're sincere in their belief. Well, here's what I know. Uh, there was a recent poll of Americans and, uh, they listed a whole host of, uh, problems and they said, rank them. You know, what came in last climate change slash uh, global warming. Yeah, well, it's not yeah. something that Americans are, are really focused on, concerned about, but the politicians are. And uh, they're pursuing it, uh, I, I think, at breakneck speed, but I don't think Americans are on board uh, with the uh, agenda. I think a lot of people agree with me that it is uh, a hoax. Others just say, hey, that's not the top of our list of concerns right now. We got economic problems, we got crime problems, et cetera. So there is a disconnect I see between uh, the leadership and, and the people. And that's the poll data. The poll data shows sure. it. Well, I, I'm not going to dismiss that. I guess my question is, you know, what's causing the glaciers in Alaska you know, to uh, to melt? Uh, I, I don't know. And there may be some answers out there. You know, I, I, I just would not call it a hoax. Nor well, would I, you yeah. Know, I mean, and yeah. and for, every, for every time I hear that the temperature is uh, the hottest ever, I, I get reports uh, the data shows the opposite. Whenever I hear, oh, the glaciers are melting, then I get reports showing, no, uh, the Arctic ice is actually uh, increasing. 
whenever I hear, oh, well, uh, scientists aren't on board with uh, this whole uh, global warming is a hoax uh, thing, then I get reports showing there are thousands of scientists who aren't on board with it. Anyway, I mean, I think it all, all boils down to where you are on the perspective. But let me uh, squeeze in, if we can, quickly. Uh, we have limited time because Tom Shedler is going to be joining us, the Secretary oh, of State. Uh, yeah. Sherry, uh, real quick, Sherry, if you could uh, jump in with your comment or question. Go ahead. Well, I'll, I'll just... Yeah, go. you got the floor. You're on the air, Sherry. I'm just going to say about the climate change thing. It's ridiculous. It's, it's The late Vostok core samples show that all of this is cyclic. You can't predict it in advance. Climate has been changing ever since the world was created. They're talking about global warming. That's the agenda they're trying to push, and it's just a hoax. But, uh, yeah, I did have some other things. I'll call back tomorrow. Okay. Well, I gave you a chance, Sherry, if you want to chime in, but uh, Sherry's leaving us. All right, Steve. Thank you, my friend. We'll have a uh, column up uh, for you for uh, BayouBuzz.com a little bit later on. Uh, and coming up also a little bit later will be the uh, state treasurer, John Kennedy. Uh, right now, the Secretary of State, uh, Tom Shredler, is going to be joining us when we come back after these important messages on WGSO 990 AM, WGSO.com. Jeff Cruer here. Thanks for joining us. It's ringside. We'll be right back.